Hello everyone, welcome back. We have launched the second version of See Through, and in this version, we have integrated the tool with IntelliJ. All of you must be aware that IntelliJ is a very popular Java IDE. Along with it, we have integrated the tool with Draw IO, uh, which you can use for editing the diagrams, which are automatically generated by the tool, and also for the collaboration purposes. So this is how the tool would look like once you install it. Uh, we have a separate video on how to install the tool. You can find that in the description. I'll walk you through on uh, about the features which this tool has to offer you. So currently I have opened the tool on a GitHub repository, a tic-tac-toe repository, um, which we found on GitHub. And for that, I have opened its class game board and game board has multiple methods. So even in the tool, you can see that game board class has multiple methods out of which you can select the method for which you want to draw the diagram. So currently I have selected mark and that's why this mark is in orange. Uh, also a, a bit more in information which can be found in the legend as well is that the darker color nodes are actually the class names and the lighter color nodes are the methods present inside that class. So the information I can currently get is mark is a method in game board which is being called by play and is calling validate position. I can even find information about the parameters. So I can know that mark is receiving three parameters, integer row, integer column and player. And mark is returning back boolean. And similarly, I can also know that mark is sending some information to validate position and validate position is actually returning void. So it's not returning back anything to mark. Um, I can keep selecting more methods and the diagram will keep updating. I can even update my code. Maybe say example, I can uh, create, add another method uh, mark three. And uh, once I quickly save this, uh, save this new file and I reload the diagram, then it should also show mark three, mark three also uh, in the diagram. So I can also see mark three in the diagram. So the, the diagram remains in sync with your code. Apart from that, I can keep increasing the depth. So let me try increasing caller's depth. When I increase the caller's depth, I can see that mark was called by play and play is being called by three other methods, uh, move computer, move human and available states. And I can know the class in which these methods are. And similarly, I can know which all parameters are these methods passing to play. So uh, so uh, this kind of information becomes super easy to get from the diagram and when the depth increases then it becomes even more critical to see a diagram like this to understand the code. Uh, the next part comes, so now you have this diagram in your IDE uh, but how are you going to share it with your teammates or how can you edit this diagram? So for that we have made this integration with draw.io. You can click on this button export to draw.io. And then here are the steps which you can follow. Uh, since I already know these steps, uh, I'll uh, quickly do that. So I copied the CSV file. I will click on redirect to draw IO. And this opens up a window in my Chrome. And that window is for draw IO. So this is how the window looks like. I'll click on create new. And uh, I can name the diagram something. So let's give it a demo tree. And once I click on save and create, it will give me a blank canvas. Uh, please note that I am creating this diagram in my Google Drive so that I can share it with my teammates. Um, now I click on insert, advance and uh, CSV. And in this, I can paste the CSV which I had copied and click on import. And this actually imports the diagram which was uh, drawn for me. Uh, and now I can edit this diagram. I can uh, edit this diagram. I can share it with my teammates. So I can click on share and share it with my teammates uh, with different ways which Draw.io supports. I can download the diagram in different formats, uh, PNG, JPG, multiple different formats. So this is... Uh, the second version which we have launched we are looking forward for your feedback and uh, incorporating that in our third version